So last week I carried out a little experiment. I drove needlessly for 100 miles to collect enough data to try and calculate the difference it makes when you install larger wheels and tires to your van or truck. In this week's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can perform a similar test using one of these. And also, I take a little trip to the Volkswagen main dealership to see if they can do anything about it. After carrying out that 100 mile test, I worked out that pretty much everything is out by 10%. So what does that mean? That means if I was literally traveling at 70 miles an hour, my speedo would read around 63. If I literally traveled 70 miles, my odometer would read 63. You've got to add 10% of what all of this is telling you for it to be correct. Does that make sense? But also on top of that, the MPG was out. So my test resulted in 37 MPG according to the computer, when in fact, when I worked it out, I was actually getting over 40. So it is 10% out, but that is my van. That is this van with these wheels and tires at this size. So how does this relate to everybody else's? And that's where this little bad boy comes into play. It's about 17.99, you plug it into your cigarette lighter. There's about two settings on it where you choose between kilometers an hour and miles per hour. And I'm not totally mental, so I use miles per hour. And it is absolutely bang on. I have now got my cruise control set at 45 miles per hour because I am in a 50 mile an hour average speed zone. Check that out. Hopefully that comes up and it's not just a load of blurry lines because it's LED. That says 49. That is plus 10%. Bang on. 17.99 and this thing is tracking us via GPS. Honestly, get yourself one of these. It will tell you exactly how far out your speed is therefore how far your mileage is out therefore how much your mpg is out get yourself one of these the link is in the description 17.99 i believe absolutely throw away money without being disrespectful this may save you from getting a speeding ticket some people may say after watching this video how do you know that that 17.99 piece of plastic is actually any good well something has to be right so this is a brand new m4 all-electric bmw surely the speedo on this is going to be pretty close to spot on and of course it's only now that i realized that the microphone wasn't connected and the camera angle could have been a lot better you can just crane your neck around the steering wheel you'll see that the cruise control is set to 51 and my little digital speedo is reading pretty much bang on A lot of the comments from last week's video were quite recurring, such as, I've got 20 inch wheels with this size tire, what do you think it will do for me? And obviously there's no way that I can tell just by being given measurements, tire sizes absolutely blow my mind. But I guess I didn't realize when I originally did this test that I would be accommodating all genres of Volkswagen Transporter users. So. I did this regarding the big swamper wheels, but I've only actually got 17 inch wheels. The rolling diameter of a 20 inch Bentley wheel, for example, on a low profile tire, collectively, that might be exactly the same. So this is actually relevant to pretty much anyone that's put a nice set of wheels on a Volkswagen Transporter. Also in the comments, a couple of people have said, I've had mine rectified iPhone Volkswagen, main dealership, and they're not convinced. After making the, let's call it the 100 mile video, I wanted to take things a little bit further. I got straight on the phone to Volkswagen and I said, listen up, I've got larger wheels and tires fitted to my Volkswagen Transporter T6. There is a myth going around that I could bring it to you guys. You can touch a few buttons on a keyboard and you will make all of the data on my dashboard make a little bit more sense than it does currently. Is this possible? They said, Bring the van down, let's take a look, because we want to know as much as you do. I'm here at Volkswagen right now. Let's go in and see what they have to say. So this is the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. You all right, Bob? Hi, mate. But I found myself in a very, very favorable situation. Guys here at Volkswagen, because they're not entirely sure how this is going to go, they have said they're gonna take it in for an hour's appointment, put it on the computer, take a good look at it. If they do not succeed, 
if nothing positive comes from this, they're not gonna charge me. I think that is absolutely awesome. But if all is good, and they do in fact manage to tell the vehicle that I've got bigger wheels and tires and my speedo is adjusted and it's all going well, they will charge me one hour's labor, which I believe is 99 pound plus VAT at the moment. So fingers crossed that we're gonna get an answer. All done. We are out of here. It was in fact a total failure. Nothing came of my one hour appointment, nothing on the positive side, apart from a free health check, a lovely clean bill of health. They didn't try to sell me any extras, so that's absolutely awesome. But according to the Volkswagen Van Center, there are no parameters on the computer in which they can change the size of the tires, which will calibrate all of this back into the good. We're just gonna have to live with it. And I am fine with that, as long as I now know the answers. Yes, that little digital speedo, that does help. But now I know the digital implications of fitting larger wheels and tires, it's about 10%. The MPG is out by 10%. It doesn't mean it's totally incorrect. If I started driving this van really hard through town, up and down through the gears, the MPG is very, very relevant. It's just slightly out. It will go down to 21 MPG. I've just got to not feel so sorry for myself and add 10%, which is about two or three miles per gallon on top of that 21. So I'm glad I did this test. Hopefully it's been helpful to you guys and I'll see you next Tuesday.